Hey guys, welcome to another theory of computation tutorial. Today we'll be solving some DFA examples that is deterministic finite automata examples. So let's get started. First thing, what are we going to learn today? We'll look at two examples that is first one and second one. If you don't know what DFA is, I have already made videos on that. You can watch the videos. I'll put the link in the description and I button. You can go and check out those videos first and then you can come for these examples. All right. So let's begin with our first example. So the question is construct a DFA accepting the following language over the alphabet zero comma one. So alphabet is zero comma one and the language is set of all strings ending in zero. Okay. So the solution goes like this. So examples of string ending with zero zero are what? We have got zero zero, then one zero zero, then we have got zero one zero zero, zero zero one zero zero, zero zero zero. So these are some of the examples of string that are ending with zero zero. Okay, so let's begin the construction of the DFA. So let's say our starting state is state A. Okay, now in state A, if we get zero, we go to state B. Okay, in state B, we get zero, we go to state C. Okay, now let's make our state C as our final state. Okay, so this is our basic structure. We have got state A, state B, and state C. If we get zero and zero, then we come to our final state C. Okay, now what if in state A we get one, then we stay in state A itself. And what about in state B, if we get one, then we come back to state A, okay? And what about state C? Over there, if we get one, then we come back to state A, okay? And in state C, if we get zero, then we stay in state C itself, okay? So this is our DFA. Now let's test out all the strings examples that we have seen over here, okay? So let's say, okay, let's test the string first one, zero, zero, okay? So if in state A, we get zero, we go to state B, and again, we get zero, we go to state C. Is state C a final state? Yes. So that's why this string is accepted. What about one zero zero? So let's say we are in state A, we get one, we stay in state A. Then we get zero, we go to state B. Then we get zero, we go to state C. So we are in a final state? Yes. So this string is also accepted. What about zero one zero zero? So let's say we are in state A. We get zero, we go to state B. We get one, then we come back to state A. Okay. Then we get zero, we go to state B. We get another zero, we go to state C. Is state C final state? Yes. So that's why zero one zero zero is also accepted. What about zero zero one zero zero? Okay. So let's say this is a string zero. We get in state A, we get zero, we go to state B. We get another zero, we go to state C. Now here we get one. Okay. So what we do? We come back to state A. Then we get zero, we go to state B. We get another zero, we go to state C. So is state C again final state? Yes, it is a final state. So this string is also accepted. What about zero, zero, zero? So let's say we are in starting state A. We get zero, we go to state B. Then we get another zero, we go to state C. And here we get another zero. So we are in state C itself. Is it a final state? Yes. So that's why state this string zero, zero, zero is also accepted. Okay. Now let's look at the next example. Okay. All right. So the next example is Construct a DFA accepting the following language over the alphabet 0, 1. And the language is set of all strings with three consecutive zeros. And it is not necessarily at the end of the string itself. Okay. So let's look at the solution. So the examples of string with three con consecutive zeros are 0, 0, 0. Then we have got 1, 0, 0. 1, 0, 0, 0. Then 0, 0, 0, 1. Then we have 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. 1, 0, 1, 0, 0. 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, and so on. Okay. So let's say in a starting state A, we get 0. We go to state B. In state B, we get 0. We go to state C. In state C, we get a 0. We go to state D. And let's make our state D as our final state. Okay. Now, if we are in state A and we get 1, then we are going to stay in state A itself. What about state B? We get 1 over here. What is going to happen? We are going to come back to state A. What about state C? We get 1 over here. We are going to come back to state A. What about state D? If we get 1 over here or 0 over here, we are going to stay in state D itself. Why? Because we have already got 0, 0, 0, right? So 3 consecutive zeros you already got. After that, no matter what comes, we are okay to be in final state. Okay? That's why we stay in state D itself. Okay? Now, let's solve this uh, strings. Okay? So let's say we get, we have a string 0, 0, 0. Can this DFA accept it? Okay? So let's say we are in state A. We get 0. We go to B. We get 0, we go to state C, and we get 0, we go to state D. So, is D a final state? Yes. Hence, 0, 0, 0 is accepted. Okay. So, this string is also accepted. Now, what about 1, 0, 0, 0? So, let's say we are in state A, we get 1. We go in state A itself. 
then we get zero, we go to B, we get zero, we go to C, we get a zero, we go to D. Is it a final state? Yes. So this string is also accepted. What about zero, 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 one? So let's say we are in state A, okay? We get zero, we go to B, we get zero, we go to C, we get a zero, we go to D. And from here, no matter what we get, zero or one. So in our case, it's one, we get one, we are in state D. Is it a final state? Yes, it is a final state. Hence, this string is also accepted. What about one zero 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 one? So let's say we get one in the beginning over here. We are in state A. Then we get zero zero zero. We are in state D. And here we get one. So we are again in state D itself. Okay. So is this string accepted? Yes, because D is a final state. What about one zero one zero zero zero? Okay. So we are in state A. We get one. We are in state A itself. Okay. Then we get a zero. We go to state B. Then we get one. We come back to state A. Then we get zero, we go to state B. Again, we get zero, we go to state C. Again, we get zero, we go to state D. Is it a final state? Yes, it is a final state. Hence, this string is also accepted. What about one zero zero, one zero zero zero? So we are in state A. We go to state A with one. Then zero, we go to B. With zero, we go to C. And from here, we get one. So we come back to state A. Okay. And from here, we get three zeros. That is zero, zero, zero. We are in state D. Is it a final state? Yes. Hence, this string is also accepted. Why? Because there are three consecutive zeros over here. 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 Three zeros over here and three zeros over here. So all the strings with three consecutive zeros are accepted. They might be only three zeros. They can be at the end. They can be at the beginning. They can be in between and so on. Okay. So we have seen the examples of a DFA with three consecutive zeros. So I hope you understood the concept. So that's it for today guys. If you have any queries, feel free to ask me in the comment section below. If you have any suggestions, please let me know. Thank you very much.